So when you apply, you submit your CV. The CV is filtered by the uh, Human Resources Department. So they are already looking at the primary uh, aspects of a CV, your degree, your level of experience in the past, uh, your commitment to uh, social causes. Uh, the bases are already covered, right? So I don't get to see people whose CVs are a disaster. I don't even see them. They are just get discarded earlier, right? But everybody would be looking at their portfolio. I mean, the, in, in an architectural uh, company, your CV is almost like I would say it doesn't get looked at any longer than your business card, right? So, because what I really need to look at is your portfolio. I would say that aside from the usual things about not having spinach in your teeth and having 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 taken a shower the night before, the day before or the morning uh, of the interview, I would say that the most important thing that I count on people is attitude. I think that attitude is huge. In the US, we tend to hire based on aptitude and fire based on attitude. And that we should do the opposite. Because I can teach you almost anything that you need to know. And if you're a young person, you already don't know anything. So you're going to have to be taught almost everything. So I am less concerned about what you actually already know, which is only a little bit of what you will end up knowing. And I'm much more concerned about your eagerness and your attitude and your get, uh, go get it attitude. And that's really what makes the decision for me. First off, my first answer is you got to do your research. You got to know who we are. You got to know what, what kind of offices we have. You need to know the marketplaces in which we operate because we don't do all sorts of things, right? So you need to understand what we do. That's got to be important. So, so you need to do your research first. Then you need to, what are the things that are going to be mattering to you? I think the culture of the office is probably one of the most important things that you are going to want to know. You want to know, are, are we fostering continuing education? How do we help you? And, and we're talking here mainly about younger people, right? How do we help you uh, become licensed? Uh, what kind of resources does the company have to foster my education and my growth as an architect or as an engineer? Uh, am I going to be thrown out there to swim by myself? Or am I going to be having somebody who will be coaching me, somebody who I, who I could go and ask questions about how the office farms? All those are valid questions that, that are appropriate and that we welcome because we, are, we have huge mentorship programs, huge continuing educations. Canon Design Academy is like a, an enormous provider of continuing education learning units in, in the country. And so we welcome the opportunity to tell you about that. Um, collaboration is one of them. Um, hard work is another. And respect for the, the, for the individuals uh, will be the third one.